If you're struggling to design a standout business card for yourself, then look no further because in this video, I'll guide you through the process of creating a stunning business card using Canva. No design skills required. Let's get started. Open up your web browser and head on over to canva.com. Once you're logged into your home screen, come to the top and select create a design. You'll be presented with this pop-up window and from here you'll have a wide range of projects to choose from. But for this video, I'll just focus on the business card. So come to print products and select business card landscape. If you need another size for your card, then come to the top bar and search business cards. You'll then be presented with a whole bunch of different business card sizes to choose from. Now, whichever business card you choose, what I'm about to teach you in this video will still apply. So I'll just go back and I'll select the horizontal business card for this example. Now we're in business. With the canvas at the correct size for my business card, I'm ready to start designing. But before we do, let's make sure to show our safe margins and our bleeds so we know that our project is set up properly. To do that, come to File, Settings, and select Show Margins. You'll notice a dotted line around your canvas. This is indicating the safe area in your design. So in other words, everything inside this box will print out perfectly. A good rule of thumb would be to keep all the important information with inside the safe area. Failure to do so will result in some important information being cut off because it was too close to the edge of your business card. Now let's add the bleed. To do that, come to File, setting show print bleeds you'll notice that adding a bleed extends your canvas past the original project size so all you would need to do is extend your artwork past the final project size and into the bleed doing this will ensure that when your business card is printed it will have color edge to edge resulting in a super crispy final print now with our project all set up let's leverage the templates within canva to get the perfect business card from here you can see some recommended templates but you can always dive in deeper searching for the industry you or your company are in in this case i'm going to search for interior designer and i'll select this template and i'll hit apply both pages which will add the front and the back of the business card now with the front of the card open, I'll change the name by double clicking the text and adding in my own name. If you want to change the font, simply come to the top toolbar and select font. From here, you can peruse through all the fonts and see which works best for you. I'll keep my fonts as is because they look pretty sweet, but I will change the color. To do that, just select the text and come to the text toolbar again and select text color. From here, you can select a default or basic color, but we all know you're not basic. So let's add in a new color. From here, you can add a custom hex code or you can use the color picker to pick that perfect color. In my case, I'll add a custom color by adding in my hex code. Now let's change the background color by selecting the background element and coming to background color. And just as we change the color of the text, this same process applies to the background. So I'll come to the color picker and I'll add in my custom hex code. Now let's change the job title to something a little bit longer. I'll double click the text and I'll add in my job title. But as you'll notice, the text box is not long enough to fit the new copy. To fix that, simply select any of the four handles and drag it to enlarge or shorten the text box. Now I'll adjust this element here as it's covering my copy. To do that, I'll select the element, then I'll click and drag it into place. Next, I'll grab this star element, but as you can see, it's behind the text, so I can't select it. To grab it, I'll just select any object that's on my artboard and I'll come to position here at the top. Next, I'll come to layers and then I'll move the star above the copy by clicking and dragging it. Now I can move that element into place. The front of the card is all set, so let's move on to the back. To do that, I'll just come to the bottom and I'll select page two. Now for the sake of not being repetitive, I'll use the magic of editing to change the color and the copy. Okay, now we're looking great, but what if I wanted to remove an element and add in my own? No problem, let's remove the star here by selecting it and hitting delete on the keyboard or by clicking on this trash can. Now I'll add in my own logo by coming to the toolbar and selecting uploads. I'll locate the logo on my device and then I'll select it and once it's uploaded, I'll add it into the canvas. I'll then select it and move it into place by clicking and dragging it. Then I'll grab any of the four handles and reduce the size or enlarge it by clicking and dragging. Now let's save this bad boy for print. To do that, come to the top and select share and download. Now most printers request a PDF, but if you come to file type, you can see all the different file formats Canva allows you to save as. In this case, I'll save it as a print PDF. I'll select crop marks and bleeds, and then I'll flatten the PDF to reduce the file size. Now, if you have a Canva Pro account, make sure to select CMYK under the color profile. 
But if you don't have a Canva Pro account, then RGB will be good enough as the printer will do its best to compensate for the color difference. Now just hit download and you're all set to send this project off to print.